Here's what's trending for June 4th. Updates, updates, updates from the Apple Worldwide Developers Conference. If you own an iPhone, get ready for a couple key changes. One big change that could be coming very soon to the iPhone is a digital health feature which will alert you if you've been spending too much time on your phone. The other big change is in group FaceTiming. Now you will be able to add 32 people to a group FaceTime chat. That's right, 32 people on one FaceTime call. Also, the Apple Watch will have the capability to turn into a walkie-talkie. Switching gears, EPA Chief Scott Pruitt continues to face scrutiny. Today, he has been called out for using personal staff to run errands on government time. The story that is grabbing headlines is that he apparently had one of his aides trying to purchase a used mattress from the Trump International Hotel in Washington. An investigation is underway and thousands of transcribed conversations and interviews are being looked at. More interviews with current staff members are up next. The United States Supreme Court has sided with a Christian baker in Colorado. The baker refused to make a wedding cake for a same-sex couple. The court made their decision as it protects the First Amendment rights but opens the door for a larger issue. Can a business invoke religious objections to refuse service for gay and lesbian people? The incident happened back in 2012. Former President George H.W. Bush has been released from the hospital after being treated for low blood pressure and fatigue. And it is confirmed. Reese Witherspoon will be returning for Legally Blonde 3 and the whole gang will be joining her. Today is National Cheese Day, so... Mm. And that's what's trending for June 4th.